Hi, Shannon here from House Improvements. Uh, we're back again today and we're going to show a video on uh, how to make a nice patch in, for patching a hole in drywall. You know, you get a small, maybe a hockey puck went through the wall or whatever. You know, you come home from a busy day and sure enough the kids have bashed a hole in the basement or somebody has bashed a hole in the wall in, in their room or somewhere and uh, now you're stuck with the task of trying to fix it. Um, you know, a lot of times you end up with one that's between a couple studs out in the middle of nowhere and, you know, what do you do? Do you cut a big chunk of drywall out of the wall so that you can get back to a stud and, uh, and uh, actually screw it to the studding or how do you support it? Well, in this case, you know, it's not an uncommon thing. You got a drywalled wall and you end up with a hole like that, right? From whatever. The kids have done something again and now you're fixing it. So we've got a hole, what are you going to do with it? It's all ugly. Uh, well, here's the easiest thing to do. You can see we're, we're out in the middle of a couple studs so there's no backing or anything in there. Um, without cutting an even bigger hole and, and making a mess, uh, the easiest way to fix this up is to uh, actually cut this out square. So pick yourself a, a measurement, you know, just a little bigger than the hole you've got because you'll, you'll feel on the back it kind of spalled it out on the back. It's the, the damage on the back is always a little wider than, than what's on the front. So I'm going to make about a uh, four inch hole here. And I think we'll just go four by four to make it easy. So uh, make a nice square mark on here and then we're going to cut it out with the drywall saw. Okay, so we've, we're going to cut out that damaged area with our drywall saw. Okay, so we've got our, our nice square hole. We're going to go over to the workbench and we're going to cut a patch that we can easily put in here without putting any backing in the wall. If you wanted to, another option is to slide a chunk of 2x4 down into the hole, back up here and, and screw it in and then you could just screw a patch on there. But uh, you know, if you have a smaller area, you don't always have that opportunity to do that. So I'm going to show you how we're going to fix that without putting blocking in there. Okay, so we cut our 4x4 four four square out of the wall. Now our patch, uh, we're going to cut out of a, a se separate scrap piece of drywall and we need to actually make it two inches wider all the way around than whatever you cut in the hole. So in our case we need an 8x8 eight eight patch. So I'm just going to uh, get that started here. So we'll first start out by getting 8 inches by 8 inches. Okay, so we've got our 8 inch by 8 inch. Obviously it doesn't fit in the hole. What I'm going to do now is show you how to make this fit. Uh, we're not going to need drywall tape to go around there or anything. It's, we're going to actually use the paper surface on this patch. So now I'm going to take my 8 by 8, turn it around to the back side. This square here is already 2 inches wide, I know that. So I'm going to use it to uh, mark off the excess on the back here that I don't need of, of the actual plaster or the gypsum. So I'm, I'm laying one side flush here 
to the, to the side of the square, I'm going to cut along this side, cut the paper. Make a couple passes, do that on every side. Just like so. What you end up with now is you should end up with this being four inches or just slightly under that box in the middle. And we're going to take this drywall now. And we're just going to break those cuts and peel off that piece all the way around. Okay, so I've got two sides. I'm going to do the other two. So now what we're left with is an actual patch that uh, we can apply mud around our hole that we cut on the wall and insert this patch right into it. So just double check, dry fit this, make sure it fits into the hole. This is one's going to fit without any messing around, extra trimming or anything. And uh, we'll just get some mud mixed up and we'll uh, insert it in the hole. Okay, so we've got some mud all mixed up. Uh, so what we're going to do next is just apply some generous amount of mud around this hole. Remember, we've got two inches of paper coming out there, so you want to be out, you know, good two and a half inches at least for width. Nice, uh, nice wet consistency is perfectly fine. Get a little bit inside the hole around the... Okay, so we've got some muck on there. You can see it's generously falling out. We've got our patch. We're going to insert it in the hole. Just use our knife now to, uh, just like you would taping a, a joint or something. You're uh, squeegeeing out the excess that we aren't going to need back there. And it's all on there. You didn't have to mess around with running the tape around there and overlapping the corners and everything. So we'll let that, we can let that dry and it's just like any other mudding job. You're just going to give that a few coats, feather it out each way so you're not leaving a big, uh, just a bump there that's going to show up or flash when you paint it. Fairly easy way to patch up a little hole like that. So uh, there's not too much more I can show you with that. Um, thanks for watching. You can uh, check out, we have quite a number of different drywalling videos and uh, tips, tips and hints and uh, other videos on other topics as well on our YouTube channel so you can look at those or you can go to our website and uh, check that all out. All right, thanks.